Hello, today I'm taking a, a, taking a little um, lecture about Africa, just giving you a few uh, facts and details about Africa. Alright, right. Uh, what I'm going to just touch on in this brief lecture is going to be about Africa, talk about the land itself, Africa, the people in Africa, the history of Africa, a little bit of the history of Africa, interesting facts, and a little bit of the animals. Right, the land. Africa is actually the second biggest continent in the world. Of course, there are seven continents in the world, and Africa is actually the second largest of all the continents. Um, it makes up 22% of the Earth's land mass, which is quite a lot. Um, and also as well, another important thing of Africa is the most centrally located of all the continents with um, with the prime meridian and the equator passing through the continent. You, so you, you get zero degrees latitude and zero, zero degrees um, longitude on in Africa. Um, of course, as well, it's one of the it's also one of the hottest of all the other of all the continents. Um, one, uh, um, among the th great sites and things that you can see in Africa is Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is actually the largest the largest lake in Africa and the second largest in the world. This is after um, Lake, lake Superior which you can find not in Northern America. It's actually located in in between around Kenya Kenya, Tanzania, and Uganda, which is there on the map, and it, it most of it is actually in 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 Tanzania. Most of the lake is actually in Tanzania. Um, as well, the Sahara Desert is also another popular um, um, desert in the world, and it is the largest desert in the world, and it is located as well in Africa. is is predominantly in the northern part of Africa. So most of northern Africa is part of this forms part of the Sahara Desert. The Sahara Desert stretches from the Red Sea, so this includes the Mediterranean the Mediterranean coast up um, up to the outskirts of the Atlantic Ocean. It is um it is a very large it, the desert covers a very large area and it is one of the it is as big as the United States, the area it covers. Um, the, another um, interesting landmark in Africa is Victoria Falls. Victoria Falls is the largest waterfall in Africa. It, it, is, it is 355 feet high and one mile wide, which is really big. So you find that one um, at, on the border of, um, of Zimbabwe. Of, um, of Zimbabwe, it is on the Zambezi River on the border of Zimbabwe. Another important landform you find in Africa is the River Nile. The River Nile is the longest is the longest river in the world. It stretches for four thousand one hundred and thirty two miles. Of course, it's located in Africa. Its source is from is predominantly from Burundi, and um, um, it, it, it the, the basin, so the River Nile basin covers one tenth of the African continent, which is really really big, which is almost as big as a country, or, or bigger than some countries even. Um, it covers a whole lot of countries, so it goes through, so it passes through Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda, Congo, Kenya, Ethiopia, Sudan, and Egypt. It's actually it is a very 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 big river. Of course, another important um, landmark mark you find in Africa is Kilim Mount Kilimanjaro. Of course, a lot of tourists travel to come and see Mount Kilimanjaro. It is the highest mountain in Africa and the second highest in the world. Um, it has a height of five hundred, five thousand, sorry, five thousand eight hundred and ninety-five meters above sea level, and as well, Mount Kilimanjaro is actually the highest freestanding mountain in the world. So, what do I mean? Um, most mount most um mountains are uh, usually a collection of um of um 
of mount they are part of a mountain range because of you know they were v- volcanoes they were vo- they are volcanic mountains but mount kilimanjaro is is not, is not part of a mountain range it is a lone standing mountain so of all the mountains that stand on their own as you know not part of a mountain range or anything mount kilimanjaro is actually the highest in the world um it is located in uh, Mount, Mount Kilimanjaro Park in Tanzania and it's a very popular tourist destination. Um, Lake Asal in Djibouti is hundred, which lies 155 meters below sea level, is the lowest point in Africa. It is, um, it is the lowest point in Africa in Africa and one of the lowest points in the world. Madagascar, which you can find on the southeastern coast of Africa, so you can see Madagascar. You can see Madagascar there. Yeah. Madagascar is the fourth largest island in the world. It is the fourth largest island in the world. For, so, but the, um, this is um, this is behind um, Greenland, be, behind New New Guinea, behind Borneo. So after those, um, after Greenland, New Guinea, and Borneo, we, of course, these are places that are not in Africa. You have Madagascar, which is the largest island in Africa and the largest, one of the and um, the fourth largest in the world. Now the the Fish River Canyon, the Fish River Canyon, is. Is the largest canyon in Africa and the second largest in the world, which is um is a canyon you can f- you can find in Namibia, and it's which is another popular tourist destination. It is um it's another popular tourist de- destination. It is um yeah, it is located around. Southern Africa. Right, another part important thing of Africa is the Congo rainforest. Now, the Congo rainforest is the second largest rainforest in the world. It, 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 it. Um, of course, after the Amazon rainforest, and if and it. It has one. It is one point five million square miles. Now, this rainforest is in, as you can find, it's in in this this green area of Africa, which I've shown here. It covers a lot of countries. So it covers Cameroon, Central African Republic, the Republic of Congo, Democratic Republic of Congo as well, and Gabon. It is a it is a big rainforest. There are so many um um species of of um, birds, animals, and different kind of things, and a large portion of the people who live in this area depend on the the rainforest for their food, medication, and so many other things. Um, of course, uh, predominant is called the uh, the Congo rainforest because uh, sixty six percent of the rainforest actually is in DRC Congo. Um, inside the Congo rainforest has is River Congo, which is the second largest river in the in in Africa, and one of the largest rivers in the in the world as well. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about inter- give you an interesting fact about the people here in Africa. Now, there are about one billion people in Africa, which makes it the second most populated continent in the world. Um, the a pre- predominant part of the African population is of um, the predominant part of the African population is actually young. So the Africa has seen a huge and um, a ginormous um, population growth in the last forty years. So a very large and with low life expectancy as well, a large population of uh, of of the of the African of of Africans are actually below below the age of 40 and you know goes up to a billion now in this um in africa the most the, the most populated country is nigeria after that egypt so nigeria is number one and egypt 
number two. Um, this um Nigeria alone accounts for four hundred and sixty million people in in the world and in Africa. Um, sixteen percent of the world's population is in Africa, and a huge portion of that is made up of Nigerians. Actually, one out of every six African is is a Nigerian. So that's a, that's a lot. Um, there are three thousand ethnic groups in Nigeria, in um in Africa. There are three thousand ethnic groups in Africa, and three over three hundred and seventy of those are based in Nigeria. Um, of course, um, a, a huge part of the African history is, is made up of um, colonialism, which led to the formation of a lot of the countries in Africa before. Before that, most um, Africans lived in. They didn't live as countries per se. They lived in um, as little little um, tribes and settlements in various parts of the continent. Um, there are three thousand languages spoken in Africa. Again, this also reflects all the little little tribes and and um, ethnic groups that that lived around Africa before the colonization and slave trade and all those things started. Um, Nigeria alone has 516 languages, which makes up 7.47 of the world's languages. That's almost 8% of the world's languages are spoken in Nigeria. Um, the big, the, the the most widely spoken language in Africa is actually Arabic. Um, one hundred and seventy million people speak Arabic. So you see, um, the no, most of the northern parts of Africa, and, um, mo most of the areas in in the Sahara, not not including um Ethiopia, um, most of these areas in the northern part of northern part of Africa actually sp speak um. Arabic and of course this is a little has a little bit of influence with the with the fact that um a lot of them are Islamic. Well, the old and Africa is the oldest inhabited region on the continent in the world. Of course, um, true if you follow the story of evolution and Taoism, um, the the early um um the first origins of man are from Africa. Now, um, there are fifty four independent there are fifty four independent nations in Africa, with Sudan there having the largest size in Africa. So fifty four independent nations and Sudan has the largest land size in Africa. Um of course Sudan has now been I say Sudan isn't one country anymore. It has been split into two countries, having northern and southern Sudan. But as a whole, Sudan has the largest land size, land size in Africa. It's a really, really massive country. Um, the Equatorial Guinea, which is a very, very, which is one of the smallest countries in Africa, so it is just sharing a border with Cameroon here. Equatorial Guinea has. Equatorial Guinea is the richest country in Africa. That's by G we are and we are talking about GDP here. So the GDP per capita is three thousand um, thirty thousand two hundred dollars, which is which is almost um similar, which is just as which is almost similar to the GDP of the UK at the moment. It could even be better. Um, of course, as well, one of the other things of uh, issues in Africa is the ten poorest. Countries in the world are in Africa, so you a lot of them are in actually in Western Africa, and Western and Central Africa with the Burkina Faso, Sudan, Sierra Leone, some of the poorest countries in the world. Um, Islam and Christianity make up eighty five percent of the religion in Africa, so a large portion of Africans are Islamic, especially in the northern part of. Um, Especially in the northern part of Africa, so more predominantly when you go to when you're in Morocco, Algeria, Libya, Egypt, Chad, Niger, Mali, Mauritania, Bo even Burkina Faso, the northern part of Nigeria, northern part of Ghana, some parts of um, Cote d'Ivoire, up to Sudan, most of these countries are Islamic. Even bits of Central African Republic, um, Cameroon. And even and yeah, so you and you could find sprinklings of uh, the Islamic religion in other parts of um, Africa. Um, 
Christian, of course, um, the other bigger portion is Christianity, and you know most of the southern part of the continent practice Christianity. Of course, the other there is there is a fifteen uh, percent that are not part of um, Islam or Christianity. They practice um, t um, tradition. Um, of old African traditional re religions. A lot of these religions are becoming extinct at the moment. They are becoming, the continent is becoming more Christian and Islamic. And um, yeah, and of, of course, th there are still a lot of people who are, um, who do not practice any form of religion, but it's very rare in Africa, especially in West Africa, that is very rare. I'll talk a little bit of the history of Africa, just a little touch. Of course, the little Africa is a very big continent, and the and the history of Africa is a, is a is major topic. So I'm just gonna go through a little bit of the tidbits and interest some one or two interesting facts in the history of Africa. Now, one thing a lot of people don't know is that edu edu education actually has its roots in Africa. So um, one of the world's oldest university is in Timbuktu, Mali. Um, by the by the 12th century, there were already three universities in Mali. So these these um these um universities are part of the these universities are associated with the, the with the the, the the three major um, mocks in in Timbuktu, and they've you know they have over t they have close to twenty five thousand students in 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 the University of Timbuktu. Um, another interesting thing that the world largest collection of pyramids are actually in Sudan and not Egypt. So these pyramids, of course, they, they, they are smaller pyramids, smaller than the ones you get in Egypt. They are, they are more steeper, smaller pyramids, but they are a larger collection that you find in um, Sudan. Of course, a lot of these pyramids have not been as explored as the one in Egypt because Egypt is a more popular tourist destination and a lot of people don't... Um, don't like don't don't go to Sudan because of the problems that has been in that area. There are two hundred and twenty three pyramids in Sudan, which is double the amount in Egypt. Right. Um, of course, a lot of people who know this that um, literate civilization started in in ancient Egypt. So Egypt is where is the is basically the best place of civilization. Um, historical records date the rise of the Egyptian state to 30, 3300 BC. Now, um, obviously, colonization is one of the most important things in, is a very big part and central part of African history. On the right there, you can see how the countries gained um, independence starting from 1950 downwards so how the country storm by storm gained independence um now one first thing to note is that only two african countries were never colonized so only two african countries were never colonized so that's that's um ethiopia ethiopia there ethiopia and liberia liberia which is in um west africa now liberia um ethiopia was just never colonized and uh the, um, no European country was able to conquer them, basically. And Liberia, Liberia was was uh, made up of um, Liberia is a is a country that is formed out of slave s slaves that were brought from uh, from the U from America. So a lot of those people were dumped in, well, not dumped. A lot of them were were settled in Liberia. So, like, of course, Liberia was never colonized. And um, most African states, the ones that were colonized, started fighting for their independence in 1950. Um, before the independence, though, um, um, South Africa already had independence pre-1950. But a lot of the people, a lot of the blacks, they were subjected to live under were subjected to live under apartheid. So, but um, Libya. Is actually their first first con is actually the first country in Africa to gain full independence. This I think he achieved in nineteen fifty one. 
Um, war, of course, war is a very big part of Africa. Um, unfortunately, Africa has seen way too many wars in its time, and one of the deadliest war in Africa is the Second Congo War, which is which claimed 5.4 million lives, and it started in August 19. 19- 98 and only ended in 2003 um of course 5.4 million people were lost their lives and and many more were displaced now this war actually started one year one year after the first Cong- after the first congo war ended and and it is the deadliest war since the world since the second world war and uh, you know it's a really terrible thing and hopefully Africa wouldn't see any any war like this again. Now just a little bit of some of the animals you find in Africa. Now four of the five fastest land animals reside in Africa. So this include the cheetah, the wildebeest, the lion and the Tom Thompson's gazelle. Um they have speeds of over fifty fifty miles per hour, with the cheetah having a top speed of about to seven about seventy miles per hour even more um 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 now the largest living mammal in the world the largest land living animal in the world is actually the african elephant it weighs it weighs six to seven tons and consumes hundred and sixty liters of water every day per day, which is a lot. Um, Lake Malawi, Lake Malawi, which obviously is in Malawi, is one of the biggest lakes in Africa as well, and it, um, it has more fishes than any other water body in the world, so it has over 500 different species of fish in Lake Malawi, so a lot of, um, people in in that field coming to Lake Malawi to try and find new species is mo- the most likely place you will find a new species of fish in the world. Um, there are there are more than two two thousand three hundred species of birds in Africa. So it's it's an interesting place inside the African forest to be an interesting place to go um, bird watching, even though it might be a little dangerous. Um, Africa as well does have penguins. Um, Africa they are rare, but the black footed penguins ex- are do exist in Africa. You find them mostly in um, Namibia and predom- and um, southern Africa, Port Elizabeth. Port Elizabeth, you find the the African penguins. Sometimes they are referred to as the jackass because of um, because of the sound they make. But yeah, Africa. If, however rare Africans, Africa does have penguins. Strangely enough, and also that also played a part in the Ujuzi logo. Anyways, that is the end of this um, little tutorial and fun facts and facts about Africa. Um, you can see more lectures at ujuziafrica.com and you can also contribute your own lectures to ujuziafrica.com. This is to help spread knowledge across Africa. Um, so you can go to there, make your own lecture about Africa and Upload it at ujuziafrica.com. Our teachers working for Ujuzi will verify this before they before they are put on the which before they are uploaded onto the web. Thank you very much.